How did you do that? A retic curled up. The first one of the trip. Our room is just there. Heading out into the jungle. It's a Salvatore. After a massively successful day yesterday, we are changing areas and we're going a few hours north to an area that we have not been yet this trip. And we've got a few things we want to see up there, but Wagglers and Wagglers Pit Viper and Banded Keelback are the two main species that I'm hoping to see. There's obviously going to be heaps that we could see, but a couple hour drive and we want to get there before this afternoon because we want to hit the jungle straight away. So yeah, we're going to head up there now. Hopefully we see something on the way, but if not, then we'll see you when we get out there. Oh, big dead sunbeam snake. Now we're gonna walk all the way 7Ks up tonight till oh till till dark and then 7Ks back down. So hopefully we can have some luck finding a wagglers and a banded keelback and a mangrove cat snake. And yeah, we'll see what we see. Somehow this is the first Draco of the trip. There's one here and there's two up there. First snake of the night is the number one target. Green banded keelback, Rhabdophus nigrosinctus. Look at the pink head on this thing. That is sick. Just cruising through the leaf litter. How good. <laughs> Beautiful green and black banded keelback with a pink head. That is awesome. First snake for the night and yeah, we're gonna take some photos and we will come back once we're done. Second last night of herping and we've managed to tick it off. The whole reason we came up to stay here was because there's so many records of this species up here. And um, yeah, some of the other closely related um, Rhabdophus are dangerously venomous. So there's not too much known about their ven venom. So I'm just gonna keep that sharp end away from me just to be safe. It could probably just be mildly venomous like a few of the others, but how good is that? Such an, such a beautiful snake. And nice to get an adult as well. Got a beautiful little tree frog. I don't know what species. I have no idea what species actually. So I'm gonna check the ID, but it's a nice colored frog. I'm gonna take some camera photos of it too. How nice is that green coloration on it? Nice. All right, look at the colors on this beautiful dragon sleeping in the tree. He hasn't even changed his color since we've picked him up, which is quite surprising considering most of the agamids out here go through drastic color changes when they're stressed out and go from an almost green color to dark brown. But look at the, it's almost like an aqua color on this one. No change really, just that throat and the eyes darkened up a bit, but it's got those awesome spines on the back. This is such a sick looking dragon. I, again, don't know the species, so I'm going to put an ID on the screen when I figure it out, but Gonna put him back in his tree and keep going. Yes, sick. Is... Oh, oh, nice. nice. It's not possible or it's very difficult. Mm. Any bites? Okay, next snake of the night is this little Malayan bridal snake trying to bite me on the hand. <laughs> this is species number 30 for the for our Asia trip, which is pretty exciting. It's a very interesting looking like it and they're so long and slender, really different to... Well, I've only seen two other like it, but very different to those other two. And a very different personality as well. It doesn't bite anywhere near as much as the other like it I've seen 
and it hasn't mucked at all, which is very surprising considering that is characteristic of Lycodon. And it was also climbing up a tree. It was about, I don't know, a meter and a half off the ground, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, snake number two for the night. And got absolutely zero photos. Could not get it to sit still in typical Lycodon fashion, but that's okay. That's a cool find. And yeah, we're gonna put him back on his tree and see what else is out. See you, boss. Maybe not the. Alright, so the next snake of the night. Look at this little Tromerosaurus sabahai ficatus. This thing is stunning. Look at the orange, the reddish colour on it along the body and on the head. This thing is insane looking. It looks so similar to Phuket Pit Viper, but we missed out on Phuket Pit Viper. So this is like the next best thing. And to be honest, it's better. It looks way better than a Phuket Pit Viper. And technically, there's still Tromerosaurus sabahai, which is the same species that we saw on Mount Kinabalu. But if you look at this one next to that sabahai that we saw, you can tell that they're just, they're not the same snake. They're going to get split at some point. And this thing is absolutely beautiful. This is the third snake and the third species for the night. Um, I'm going to snap a few quick photos and... We are going to keep moving. How good is that, though? Oh, I'm taking pics of the Phuket Pit Viper, and we've got a snake climbing up a branch here. Hey! Another oh, one! Oh, it's another... It's another keelback climbing up the branch. Is it? Yeah. Another keelback. Second one for the night. Do you care if I leave him? No, yeah, you can. It's okay. For me, it's okay. He's on the crawl. Probably, he's probably coming up to the leaves to sleep for the night, to be honest. We're going to leave this one be because he's probably trying to find a spot to rest for the night. So while we were looking at this Ficardus, I looked over here at the top of this tree and you can see the eye shine of six Wallace's tree frogs, which were a massive target. So we're going to head over and see if we can try and get on down. There's six up the top and then there's one just here, a little bit lower down. It's still like three meters off the ground though. So we are gonna try and figure something out. You can see him. So close. Look at how good this is. Oh my God. Wallace's flying tree frog. This was a bucket list frog and I forgot that we were gonna be in range for them. I didn't, I didn't think that they came this far south. Oh my God. That is a dream frog right there. Look at the toe pads on it. That is sick. <sighs> Big full line tree frog. Full line tree frog. <sighs> Big sleeping colloids. Hot pinky, yeah. Hot pinky. I nor Hyachi's flying frog. We ended up getting to that frog and it is a crazy find. This is a Nor Hyachi's, horn, uh, Nor Hyachi's flying frog, which is pretty similar to the Wallace's flying frog, except they've got the black, blackish, bluish sort of belly and the, the armpits and the feet, the, the webbing of the feet. But they are significantly rare. These are one of the most sought after frogs in the region. But the craziest part is that my flash died while I was photographing that Wallace's like 10 minutes ago. So, there's going to be no quality photos of this frog. But to be honest, who really cares? Seeing this frog is insane. We are super lucky. This thing is awesome. He's just hanging like a nut. Full on tree frog. I Four, four line tree frogs in and plexoid. All right, another species for the night. Look at this tiny little neonate waggler's pit viper. It is absolutely tiny. Apparently a female has given birth in this area recently. So there's a bunch of beautiful little juveniles. You can tell this is a juvenile male waggler, waggler eye because of the spots that it's got on the back instead of the stripes. Very similar to the Bornean keyword pit vipers that we saw earlier on in the trip, but 
a new species for us now since they got split. Pretty much at this size they look almost identical I reckon. How good. We're going to keep looking around and see if we can turn up any other babies. Okay, it didn't take long and about 10 metres away is another baby wagglers and you can see this one's going, going through its first shed. At the moment it's got that shed skin on the back of the head coming off. So its colours aren't as vibrant. You can see that contrast from the head, the freshly shed head colour to that sort of dullish green colour that's about to come off. And you can tell this is a female. You can tell by the, the see those stripes that she's got rather than the spots that the male had. But yeah, that is awesome. All right, tonight was great. We didn't have crazy numbers, but we had really good quality in the animals we saw um it's late now we're about to finish the 14th kilometer of our walk for the night and we're going to get up early tomorrow and hit the jungle once more we've got to make the most of our time because we're coming to the end of the trip and a few common things still that we want to get ticked off so whew, time for a couple of hours of sleep was actually about seven hours of sleep, so that's a good night's rest. And then we will see you back in the jungle. All right, this, straight away this morning, we've got another green teal back. This one is stunning. Well, they're all stunning, but this one looks particularly nice in the sunlight. This is sick. I love these snakes. They're actually mad. And yeah, we weren't even walking this trail to look for these this morning. We were hoping to see Waggler's Pit Vipers. Now we've got that beautiful male waggler's pit viper. This is an adult. I'm just shaking my face. Hold on. This is what an adult, adult male looks like. They look completely different to those beautiful big black and yellow females sleeping in the shade in this bamboo pile to escape the heat of the day. Um, literally right next to the walking trail. Uh, we're going to keep walking and see if we can find that big female. All right, so this is the snake that we came into the jungle to look for. Cannot take credit because we didn't find this snake. This waggler has been hanging around the same area for the past week, which is pretty common for the species. They generally hang around the same area for weeks on end. But yeah, this is a beautiful adult female waggler's pit viper. So just down the track as well, there was that male that's been hanging around the same area too. And th th this is the example of sexual dimorphism. That snake before was an adult male. And now this is a beautiful adult female. They look like a completely different species and very similar to the Bornean keeled pit vipers. But you can see as adults, they don't look the same. This is a stunning snake and they do get bigger than this as well. This one's probably about, I'd say 60 centimeters. They can get, they can push 90 centimeters. Um, but yeah, it's just in the jungle concealed by some nice shade where it'll sleep through the day and then wait in ambush at nighttime. What a beautiful snake. We got to see, we got to tick off our first wild wagglers last night that we actually herped, but we're gonna miss out on a chance to see a proper female while herping. So we have to jump on this opportunity to come see this beautiful snake. But that is awesome. I thought this one was alive. This has just been hit. Oh, not just been hit, but another freshly hit rat snake. Look at this owl. Look how sick that is. I have no idea what species this is, but that is sick. How did you do that? Look at this. What's this here? The frog going ham and a retic curled up. A beautiful retic. The first one of the trip. Oh Our room is just there. There you go. Come on.
All right, so as soon as we started walking about 20 meters from our room is this beautiful yellow reticulated python, Malayo python reticulatus. This is a stunning colored one. It's so clean and the yellows on it are super nice. This this is awesome. Oh, fucking, hell, there's a buzz. I mean a bee. Um, yeah, but like the last night of the trip, the last herping that we're doing, we were saying today, we were surprised we haven't seen a reticulated python yet because usually they're pretty common. And yeah, luckily we've turned one up tonight. But yeah, this is awesome. This is a beautiful snake. You can see the iridescence on the scales. They're the world's largest python. They can get to seven meters long. They get huge. This one's about two meters long. And we will come back. He's just sitting in the garden. I don't know. I, I feel like he was here today. It just looks like he's been curled up here for a long time. And we're not going to disturb him. I would like to get photos of it, but I'd rather just leave it be. It's not like it's on the hunt or anything. It's just chilling. So, yeah, I'm going to see if he's still... Oh, fuck off, cunt. Fucking buzz bee. Fucking bitch. Um, yeah, but he, he might be waiting in ambush anyways. Because there's a few rats and other warm-blooded mammals running around. But, yeah. Beautiful snake. And this is going to be the last snake that we see on the trip. Because we're only going for a short walk tonight. And Before we called it quits and tomorrow night we're just... We're not herping. So, this will be the last snake of our trip to Southeast Asia, which has been an absolutely amazing trip. This is snake species number 33 that we've seen in this time. And, yeah, there's been some crazy good finds. Hopefully you enjoyed watching all the videos. We will definitely be back. Give it one year, and we'll be back again trying to get that Malcolm's Pit Viper and the King Cobra and a few other things. But, yeah... We will see you back in Australia.